Happy now. All is now. It's a gift to be in the present. First say something back in here, putting out my perception into the cloud of the collective to expand the collective consciousness. You're now tuning into the mind of an object and moon and Horus. Let me transit into 12th house. This guy. It's going to be my continuation on the Mercury signs, okay? So my last interpretation was Mercury and Scorpio. This is going to be Mercury in Sagittarius. Okay, so with Mercury, what do we know about Mercury? Mercury is your planet of communication, your ability to process thoughts, ability to write, aka penmanship. Okay, so Sagittarius is born from the ninth house. That ninth house is dealing with higher learning philosophies. You know, uh, broad philosophical way, yeah, broad philosophical ways of looking at the world, religion, God, the universe, spirit, yes, yeah, spirituality, okay, and long distance travel, physically or mentally, okay, wisdom. Sagittarius is a mutable fire sign, and it's being ruled by Jupiter. Okay. So off the bat, with Mercury and Sagittarius, it's a fiery mind, okay, S -s -s scattered mind, okay, because this is a mutable fire. The mind is a, the mind is, you know, this is a more, like I say, yin, okay, so Jupiter is more yin. Some more yin planet and fire deals with seeing in the yin realm, right? So with this being mutable, mutable fire, right? So communication will be adaptable communication based off of how you see, based off of how you see the world and how others see the world, okay? Uh, with Sagittarius, Mercury, Mercury and Sagittarius, you are, yeah, most definitely able to do long distance travels mentally. Okay, long distance travels mentally with your spirit body, your mental body, your frequency vibration, okay? So it's just like your frequency vibration, aka your spirit, your spiritual body, right? So thoughts and thoughts and ideas you receive would be far out, you know, and this having this Jupiter influence, you know, Jupiter wants to expand, Jupiter deals with expansion, okay, so you'd rather, you know, you, the thoughts and ideas you receive that are based on higher learning, things that, you know, is passing, going beyond, let's say, yeah, dealing, going beyond the physical, okay, Jupiter dealing with that first eye, you know, it's like, yeah, you want to expand with that, okay? And this is why it could be scattered with Mercury and Sagittarius because Mercury wants to really analyze. Mercury is a planet, like I say, process, process, looking at the details of things, right? Processing of the thoughts. So, you know, Sagittarius, you know, is the normal meaning reasonings, okay? So it's almost like you're forced to look at the meaning and reasoning. You 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 deal with meaning and reasoning when looking at you know the thoughts and ideas you receive. So the thoughts and ideas you receive is almost like yeah, uh, meaning and reasoning based off of you know this reality we live in, you know? So you wanna correlate meaning and reasoning to everything in this reality based off of your thoughts, okay? And based off of your, you know, just your individual, let's say, yeah, based on your individual frequency vibration <clears throat> with Mercury and Sagittarius. So Mercury and Sagittarius, right? is yeah it's an expansive mind okay so you do have access to you know lots of information from the spirit realm with this with this planet with this placement okay so you do receive information from spirit okay so fire is you know seeing in the spirit realm okay so with mercury and uh, sagittarius you know it's uh abundant okay you could say perception 
perception is abundant with Mercury and Sagittarius. Okay. All right, so with Mercury and Sagittarius, you can deal with perception. You're able to change your perception at will with the Mercury and Sagittarius. Okay. Uh, um, so, yeah. Um, adaptable. Okay. Again, mutable. Okay. Mutable communication. Okay. You want to see other people's side. You want to see how other people see things. Okay. How other people see the world. See if people either share the same uh, views of the world with you, you know, or uh, I don't want to say curious, but yes, curious. He's curious, curious, questioning the mind, questions, okay? Questioning with the Mercury and Sagittarius. You got your quest eye on the Mercury and Sagittarius, okay? So it's a, uh, uh, yeah, questioning and seeking answers, meaning and reasoning to your reality, okay? To true, uh, your truth, okay? Your truth, you know? Uh, receiving thoughts and ideas, you know, on how you can go about uh, seeing more to the world. Okay, receiving thoughts and ideas on how you can go about, yeah, Tra always traveling, really. So with the Mercury and Sagittarius, the mind is never settled, really, you know? The mind is always, always wants uh, more, you know? The Mercury and Sagittarius is just constantly expanding, you know? This is why, you know, the mind is is almost uh yeah wants to keep expanding wants to keep traveling you know wants to uh you know have more wisdom you know more higher learning you know something they can yeah learn you know and you manifest this automatically you do manifest this you know, because, yeah, like I say, due to frequency, vibration, and energy, you know, that uh, frequency realm, that thought realm, you know, because it's, uh, you know, everything happens first in that frequency realm, that thought realm, you know, if you've constantly receiving thoughts based on expansion, you keep wanting to expand on the thoughts you do receive, you know, based on the individual, your individual how you are vibrating as an individual spirit, you know, you will manifest this in your reality, you know? So, yeah, the positive side with this is just like, yeah, you receive knowledge and wisdom that you can go and be a teacher, right? You can go ahead and teach the, based off of your knowledge and wisdom, you know, that you do receive or that Let's say you do, yeah, the knowledge and wisdom that you do receive from the spirit realm, you know, you can go over and, and teach and, and enlighten people, yeah, based off, yeah, your knowledge and wisdom that you do go through in the spirit realm. And the negative side is just like, yeah, you just, it's just never not settled. You're just always not content. Okay, so this is where, with this placement, we want to reach contentment. We want to be content, you know, have a, we want to be content to the, you know, let's say, information that we receive. You know, let's say you would want to have a cap, okay, because Sagittarius is learning from Capricorn. Capricorn is the next sign. Sagittarius is learning from Capricorn. So you would want to have a cap to the knowledge and wisdom you receive. That is the learning process with this. Okay, so learn to have a cap on the knowledge and wisdom that you receive. Okay, with this and not always wanting more, aka don't be a knowledge whore.
I've got a video on that. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Um, with uh, the yeah, that's that's the negative side. Yeah, the positive side is like, yeah, you can go ahead and go ahead and teach. You know, based off of you know your morality that you learn. You know, the morality that you have. You know, you can bring this out and show this to the world based on your communication, okay? So it's adaptable communication, okay? So you're not fixed like the Leo, fixated on how you see, fixated on communicating on how you see things. You're not like the Aries, initiating new ways on how to communicate about things or their desires, right? You're adaptable in your communication, okay? You're adaptable in communicating on how the knowledge and wisdom that you do receive from the spirit realm okay or knowledge and wisdom based off of your experiences with a uh sagittarius mercury okay there's things you want to communicate this is what you communicate about okay so yeah you're geared towards wisdom okay then that's more right brain okay that's uh mercury is more yeah yeah sagittarius is more right brain Okay, it's more subjective. Okay, uh, it's fire deals with seeing in the yin realm. All right, so yeah, allows you to see in dark. All right, so yeah, uh, yeah. Let's see what else I got for you. Um, yeah, higher learning. You know, that's about it. You know. You know, my friend Sash. Yeah. First, let's sign out. Catch you next time.